Hello Medical Coders, this is Johansson, your Medical Coding Guide. In today's video, it's all gonna learn about human anatomy in a very interesting way. Recently, I saw a museum, that's a children's museum in Dubai, where there's an area specially dedicated for human anatomy. So I saw a digitalized way of learning, which was very much interesting for the kids. When I was teaching my kids, I suddenly got an idea of showing to you all especially for freshers or people who really wanted to know about human anatomy. In this video, we'll be learning in a digitalized way about the internal organs of a human body. So let's get started. So this is just an outline of a human body. It's a human body image and the organs are scattered around. These are all the internal organs of a human body. So I will just arrange accordingly. So you'll have an idea where each organs are located. For beginners or freshers who have no idea about anatomy, this video will be of much help. So don't skip, watch till end. I'm so excited to teach you all. So the first and foremost, the brain. Uh, the brain controls all other organs and their functioning. So brain is in the head. As you already know, it is located inside the skull. Now we will see the next organs. Then we have the trachea, also known as windpipe. It is uh, the branches into the bronchus and then the tiny branches are called bronchioles. Behind the windpipe trachea is the esophagus. Esophagus is a hollow tube-like structure called as a foot pipe. So your foot particles when you ingest, it gets into that. Now let's get back to the trachea. So the trachea branches into bronchus, bronchioles and then we have the two lungs. Right lung and the left lungs. So these are the lungs. So the functions of the lungs are, it helps the oxygen filled air to enter the red cells in the blood. Then in between the lungs, we have the heart located. So the heart is located between your lungs in the middle of the chest. In the heart structure, as you can see, the apex side, that is the lower end, right? It is tilted towards the left side of the body. That's why when patient experiencing chest pain, they always say they have a just pain radiating just pain towards the left side of the body right so because the heart is slightly tilted uh, the apex side is tilted at uh, the left side of the body so that is the major symptom of a heart attack or chest pain so the major function for heart is it pumps blood to deliver a continuous supply of oxygen and other nutrients to other organs then we have the stomach the end of the esophagus right it has been connected to the stomach so the food particles through the esophagus enters into the stomach where it holds the food and mixes it with the acid and enzymes and then it continues to break the food down into liquid or into another phase then from the end of the stomach it leads into the small intestine so this is a small intestine so the small intestine has three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum and it helps to further digest the food coming from the stomach and it absorbs nutrients and water from the food then on the right upper quadrant of the abdomen you have the liver so the liver is an organ that sits under the rib cage on the right side of the abdomen it has many functions including helping in digestion and get rid of the waste products next we have the pancreas that is just behind the stomach it helps in digestion during digestion it produces pancreatic juices called enzymes they break down the sugars fats and starches next we have the spleen it is located on the upper left side of the abdomen under the ribs and above the stomach so this spleen filters the blood to help destroy microorganisms and it gets rid of the old or damaged red blood cells it also makes lymphocytes also known as white blood cells and stores blood cells then we'll focus on the intestine. We have that large intestine. It is a long tube-like organ that is connected to the small intestine at one end and it ends with the anus. So it has four parts, cecum, colon, rectum and anal canal. And this is called as ascending colon, transverse colon, then you have the descending colon, there the sigmoid colon, then rectum and anus. Then we have the kidneys. These are two bean shaped organs about the size of your fist and it is located just below the rib cage on each side of the spine. Here the major organs are hiding the kidneys actually. Kidneys filter the blood and removes waste and extra water and forms urine. Then these two tube like structures are called as ureters. So these tubes carry the urine from the kidney to the bladder then we have the urinary bladder so the urinary bladder is a hollow spherical shaped organ and it holds the urine 
so during the process of urination the muscles in the bladder contract that is it tightens and the sphincter muscle in the urethra relaxes and then it allows the urine to flow out of the body and this is all about the internal organs here we are missing the reproductive organs alone so the reproductive organs are not included in this picture so let's have a closer view of the human internal organs so inside the skull we have the brains then from the mouth we have the trachea also known as windpipe branching into the bronchioles leading to the lungs then we have the heart in between on the right upper quadrant of the abdomen is the liver then we have the spleen here and behind the stomach is the pancreas so the esophagus leads to stomach which leads to the small intestine and it leads to the large intestine then rectum and anus in behind we have the bilateral kidneys then the ureters leading to the urinary bladder and then urethra if you found this video to be useful and interesting please hit the like button so i'll know that you all really like this video and please share with your friends so they can also learn medical coder should be aware of the basic anatomy and pathophysiology all these things should be understood should be known to a medical coder because if you have an idea about the case about the anatomy about the pathophysiology it will be very much helpful to pick the codes easily i have already posted videos on the anatomy based on prefix suffix and root words you can watch those videos as well i'll put a link in the description box below because all coder should know the basic anatomy and if you want to know in depth aspect of a medical coder what all you should learn in the anatomical part you can email me i have a 100 plus pages of pdf dedicated completely for the anatomy and pathophysiology with all the medical terminologies with all beautiful pictures and uh, the disease condition and common disease conditions person each anatomical structures so if you want this pdf you can very well email me or instagram me i'll give the details so if you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you'll not miss any of my future medical coding related video this is surya johnson your medical coding guide